Embedded in our planet Earth is a truly miraculous crystal formation. A common rock with a white silky luster. Look deep into this wondrous rock called gypsum as we discover the mystery within. Mined or quarried and processed into a variety of products, the unique qualities of gypsum have been known and put to use for centuries. The Egyptians applied it to the interiors of their pyramids as sand plaster over lath made of intertwined reeds. It has been used as a soil supplement, as an ingredient in toothpaste and in food processing, as a filler in paper and textiles, as plaster of Paris in molding, casting, sculpture and pottery, and most abundantly in building products such as cement and plaster for walls and ceilings. Gypsum has been used by artists, architects and builders in various forms throughout the ages. Toward the end of the 19th century, Augustine Sackett discovered a method to control the setting time of gypsum and invented the process for making a gypsum core sandwiched between two sheets of felt paper. This product, typically known as gypsum board, began its phenomenal rise to prominence in the late 1940s as the nation's post-war building boom erupted. Today, tens of millions of square feet of gypsum board are installed in North America every day as an efficient, low-cost method of applying the miracle mineral to walls and ceilings. So what is it about the characteristics of gypsum board that make it so miraculous? The most important aspect is that gypsum will not burn. The gypsum in the core of the board actually emits steam when exposed to fire and retards the transfer of heat through the panel. This slowdown provides extra time to evacuate a room or building and helps to minimize damage to property. Effective performance of gypsum board as a barrier to fire and smoke has been clearly demonstrated. This house was divided into two sections by means of a fire-resistive gypsum board partition. Cedar shake was used on both roofs. However, on one side, gypsum board was used as a fire-resistant barrier under the shingles. Fires were started simultaneously in both attics. The side unprotected by gypsum board was totally destroyed, and the side protected by the gypsum board firewall, extending 30 inches above the roof line, stopped the raging fire from spreading from one unit to another. So, it's easy to understand that gypsum will resist fire. But what happens in the manufacturing process that enables gypsum board to retain its fire-resistant qualities? Gypsum, in its purest form, called selenite, from the word selene, meaning goddess of the moon, starts its journey as a light-density rock in the ground. It is mined or quarried and crushed. The rock is then ground into smaller pieces and heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, where a chemical reaction called calcination takes place. Gypsum is composed of molecules of calcium sulfate and water locked into a rigid crystalline structure. When the gypsum is heated, about 75% of the water is driven off as steam. 
The resulting white powder is commonly called stucco. When water is added to the stucco, the crystals reform and the gypsum returns to its original hardness. So, to make gypsum board, stucco is mixed with water and additives that form a slurry which is spread between two layers of high-strength paper. The gypsum hardens and bonds to the paper to form a sandwich of paper and gypsum. The finished board emerges in a completely new physical shape. In today's market, the core of the gypsum board is increasingly manufactured using synthetic gypsum, a byproduct material generated primarily through the desulfurization of flue gases in fossil fuel power plants. Synthetic or reclaimed gypsum meets the same quality standards as natural gypsum, eliminates a costly waste disposal problem, and helps to control production costs. In addition, for more than 40 years, long before recycling became popular, the gypsum industry has been recycling corrugated containers, newsprint, and other paper to manufacture the paper facing for gypsum board. Currently, almost 100% of the fiber used in the manufacture of gypsum board face and back paper comes from corrugated containers, newsprint, and post-consumer waste materials. It was not long after the first use of gypsum board that it rapidly became recognized as a building product with unusual fire-resistant features. However, the gypsum industry was already asking, could the effectiveness of the natural properties of gypsum be expanded? Research and development activities within the gypsum industry have resulted in profound improvements. In the 1950s, a Type X gypsum board was developed. This is a specially formulated gypsum board with improved fire-resistant qualities. The easiest way to remember the basic purpose of Type X is to think X for extra fire protection. Have these developments further enhanced the recognition of gypsum board as a fire-resistant material? Codes in the United States recognize gypsum board as a non-combustible building material and allow its use for fire-rated wall and ceiling systems such as fire and area separation walls and other types of fire-resistant construction. Consensus model building codes and code evaluation reports recognize the Gypsum Association's Fire Resistance Design Manual as a reference source. The manual is a compilation of nearly 400 different fire resistant systems that have been tested in accordance with ASTM E119, which is the nationally recognized test standard for fire endurance. Knowing how gypsum board performs is one thing, but are there any standards used to guarantee its consistent quality? All gypsum board is manufactured to strict ASTM international standards. Also, the fire endurance of gypsum board has been confirmed countless times in tests conducted under rigidly controlled conditions by independent testing laboratories. We've mainly talked about gypsum's superior performance as a fire resistant material. What else should we know about gypsum board? There are numerous other advantages and benefits of this miracle mineral. Gypsum board provides a smooth surface for painting or applying a variety of finishes. Gypsum board acts as a sound barrier to ensure privacy between adjacent units.
The use of gypsum board can result in savings of hundreds of thousands of dollars in high-rise construction costs. For example, installing a gypsum shaft wall system instead of concrete block for stairwells and elevator shafts can result in substantial cost reductions in building core and structural components. Excessive bracing is not required when installing gypsum walls, and the large gypsum panels make installation easier and faster. Delays caused by curing of cementitious materials and work suspensions during freezing conditions are eliminated, as are delays resulting from scheduling multiple trades. Gypsum board is dimensionally stable and inert, and when stored, installed, finished, and maintained in accordance with industry guidelines and specifications, will provide years of satisfactory service. Gypsum board is widely acknowledged and accepted as a fire-rated building product that's easy to install and finish. So, what parts of a home or building could benefit from the inherent characteristics afforded by gypsum board? One area where gypsum board is experiencing increased use is as a roof underlayment material in home and building construction. Conventional building methods have required the construction of a parapet. A parapet is an extension of a firewall through a roof, typically to a height of 30 inches above the roof line. Construction of a parapet limits the potential for fire spreading on the roof surface of a building. Modern building codes allow the elimination of the parapet in many instances, providing gypsum board is installed beneath the roof sheathing in compliance with specific code requirements. Application of the gypsum board can be accomplished using one of three methods, the most common of which is the ledger strip method. When the ledger strip method is used, a single layer of 5 8 inch Type X gypsum board is placed between the roof framing members and immediately beneath the roof sheathing. The gypsum board is held in place by ledger strips that are attached to the edge of the roof framing members. Where can we get more information about the uses, benefits, and specifications of gypsum board? The Gypsum Association is an international non-profit trade association made up of gypsum board manufacturers based in North America. The Gypsum Association provides technical, promotional, statistical, and governmental information. The association also produces a full range of both printed and electronic materials. In homes or apartments, commercial buildings, or in public facilities, in any building, the advantages of using gypsum board are many and varied. From out of the earth and into our homes, schools, offices, hospitals, and hotels, this miracle mineral is an investment in tomorrow.